Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you something basic for lists and libraries, but it's uh, it's useful. Um, so actually, uh, the functionality that I'm talking about is to do some kind of a, a calculation or sum or some kind of a mathematical uh, action on one of the columns. So let's say if I go to the cells, actually I can click on the drop down and then I have total and here I have lots of options actually to, to do some uh, calculation. So the first thing I could do is to make a sum and it will add uh, all of the sum of all of the, the things here. Uh, actually, yeah, it can be like Excel. Excel does some uh, more advanced things, but um, this is something that can be visual. By the way, I think if you export it, you don't see this calculation, it's only on the screen. But let's click again and do total. Let's see if we want to count. So count, I see six items. By the way, I can do it also on this column, but here I will only have count. I will not have sum because it's not a number. So you see this as well. In addition, uh, we could choose to choose the maximum one, or the, let's see what else, we, the minimum, we can have uh, an average, this is the average, and this is actually uh, what we see. Now, let's see also what happens if we group. So I'll group by category, so I'll go to the category and do group by. Now we will see that the categories have been grouped, so all of the closed will be there and you see that also the calculations are on the grouped level. So we will see uh, first on the lower level and we will see the total. So let's just do this and change it to, to count to sum. We will see this is a sum only for this category but we will see the total sum is here. So this is very uh, convenient and uh, it needs to be tested if, if on bigger uh, uh, lists, if it will do the calculation, by the way. Also, if the value is uh, negative, it should uh, uh, do the calculation. Uh, let's just uh, go up and let's just, uh, hmm. Okay, when it's grouped, then actually you cannot do quick edit, but I will just uh, edit one of the items and I will change it to uh, minus 3,000, minus 6,000. And let's see what happens. So we see actually it does a, a negative thing. Now, this is in the modern way. Uh, just so you know, if we go to the view, um, it's possible that we click on the gear icon and go to the list item and go to the view that we're talking about. And also here, uh, this is the initial way that once, so if we scroll down all the way, we can do here uh, totals. So you see here for, for these columns, uh, you can do, for instance, um, define which uh, calculation you want. So for sales, we can do all of these. From category, we can do all the uh, account, and for the title, also account or nothing. So this is the classical way. The modern way is also a way to do it. So uh, this is a way, as we saw, it can do be done also on, on a flat list. And if we have also uh, some grouping, then actually it will uh, do it for each level. If we have two, uh, several levels, then um, this is how we, it will work. So, uh, hope you learned something new and see you in the next episode.